there's always that little um, axiom, read the manual, read the manual, read the manual. Um, this is in addition to the video I just made about using the white zigzagger. Um, here's my embroidery floss, and I did read the book, and I thought I heard what they said, or understood what they said, but I didn't. This is the way they describe if you're going to use zigzag over cord. They say in the book, bring the cord or yarn or floss up through the hole of the plate. And because there's a channel at the guide, I assumed that's what they meant. That's not what they mean. You bring it up through the hole, just like they say. Let me zoom in. You see that? It's in the middle of the plate. And then you pull it up like this. So there we go. That's that's what they say. Bring it up through the plate. And from there, it's very easy to move it to the right and pull it right under the clip. And then, of course, you can just, excuse my arm, pull it toward the back and bring it forward to where you need it. I think it's longer in the back. There. So there is the easier way to get your floss or yarn or cord in place. Now let's change the stitch width to two, which is narrower and see how that covers the cord. The chair out of the way. Now in this case, because that stitch is narrower, I'm actually going into the center of the cord. So I think having it at three or maybe two and a half was correct. Let's put it at two and a half and just get a little bit more width. Now, I've also, um, I'm going to put the stitch length at six. Nope, and see, I'm, it's off. It's not wide enough. So you do want to have it at three. and have it be wider than the cord. Now this, once you know it, I don't know, is the cord, I don't know if the floss became separated. Let's try it again. I'm trying to think what I could have changed that is now almost hitting the cord. But I think it's just the way I had it positioned. No, and I know what it is. I need a longer stitch length. So let's go up to... <coughs> let's um, go up to six. So this is, it's like the other, the Singer Zigzaggers, you have to fiddle with it for the project you're doing on a scrap piece of paper, and this is now out of line because I'm not stopping and starting again from a new position. Um, and this is why they tell you to hold this tight and straight. So this is kind of not how not to do it. Um, and you can get quite a mess. Look at that. This is the correct way where I had the stitch width at three. This right there would have been fine with the smaller stitch width. 
but it started to separate the floss, and once it did that, the machine didn't like any of it. So you need um, <clears throat> a wide stitch width of three to apply the cord, and a stitch length of about six. So we did it right the first time. And the only thing, the only difference is how to get the floss or yarn in there, which is by finding a bend in the yarn like that and bringing it up through the center of the foot, actually, area of the zigzagger. And normally, I'm sure it, it goes much quickly, much more quickly. Um, but there's one problem solved, the easiest way to get the cord in.